Okay, so I got a request from one of my friends to make a batch of my marijuana moonshine. So that's what I'm going to start today. I think I have a good enough temperature up here. It was 72, 71, 72. I'm hoping this is going to work. It's not really that warm here yet to do this, but we're going to give it a try. So I've got my water coming up to temperature here. It's sitting in warm water so that it can come up to temperature and not be freezing cold because I don't want to shock the the yeast when I put it in. I've got a cup and a half of sugar here and I'm going to add that into here right now. This is a two gallon jar. That's a one gallon jar. So, okay. Today I think I'm going to do three gallons. And um, maybe Sunday I can do the run. Okay, while I wait for the water to keep warming up, we'll get back to this in a few minutes. Okay, so I've got half the water in now. And I'm going to stir up the sugar in there and dissolve it all, which is what we do when we make a mash. Make sure and use one of these wooden spoons. Don't use a metal spoon in here. I did that in one of these and broke it. So I'm just going to stir it all up nice now. Dissolve all that beautiful goodness into there just like this. Like so. Now we'll get, now we'll get the good stuff. Okay, so I've got about an ounce of, about an ounce of shake in here. And we're just going to kind of stir that down and in so we can soak up some of that water. Just like so. Just like that. Okay, after about, I don't know, two minutes, I guess, I'm going to add the rest of my water, which is at about 76 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, and then I'm going to add that in, and then I'll be adding my yeast. Now, the yeast I use. You can use any kind of yeast for this. Whenever people go for a champagne yeast or whatever, well, that's good if you're making wine. But I use traditional Flashman's dry active yeast. Don't keep it in the fridge, keep it in the cupboard. I have lots of this stuff. Okay, so I'm going to leave that for one, two minutes, and then I'll finish it off. Then I'll show you how I cover it, so the flies stay out. Okay, so some of this I need to do with two hands, you know, so I can't film at the same time. I don't know where my tripod is right now. So, the yeast is in here. I use a tablespoon of yeast for this amount. And then I cover it with cling wrap or saran wrap. And I put four little pinholes in the top so that it can breathe. And that way the fruit flies can't get in and an elastic band around the top of the jar holding the cling wrap on. And uh, yeah, maybe, I guess in about five days, I'll be able to run this through the still. We'll show that video later. Marijuana moonshine. This is how you make it. This is how I've been making it for 24 years. Now, I almost forgot to mention, you want this in a dark cupboard where it can stay warm. So I keep it up here. This is my new brew closet. And it should do fine as it is right up there. 
Perfect. There you go. Marijuana moonshine.